Hey everyone, my name is Tracy Martirana from Holistic Wellness with Tracy, and today I'm inviting you into my kitchen while I make borscht. If you're not familiar with borscht, it is a soup made with beets. Obviously, there's some other stuff in it as well. The recipe that I sort of follow also has potatoes and carrots and onion and celery, um, and then obviously some flavorings and spices and whatnot. It is a great way to get vegetables into your diet. And if you are trying to eat with the seasons, eat more seasonally, this is a great fall, winter, and sort of even into spring dish as these ingredients almost all are things that you would harvest in the fall and store over winter to cook with. So it's a very seasonal meal. It's hearty, it's tasty, and it's full of veggie goodness. One quick word of caution, when you're cooking with beets, you need to be aware of what you're doing because beets are bright red and the juice will stain everything. So when I'm peeling and chopping beets, I do it wearing plastic gloves. I also remove my wooden cutting board and use a plastic one because that red juice will stain my cutting board. I'm going to be sure to have an apron on or wear old clothes so that I don't end up you know, splattering myself while I'm making this soup. So you've been warned, just be careful. Let's get cooking. I'm gonna need two pans for the soup. First being my big soup pot, the second just being a skillet. We're gonna start with the soup pot, use a skillet in just a little bit. So I'll set that aside. I'm gonna pour a little, pour a little olive oil in here and warm it up. And while my pan is heating, we will start prepping the beets. I love beets, but they are indeed messy business. So I have my gloves. I'm not using my wooden cutting board because I don't want to stain it. I'm wearing an easy to clean apron. So I'm cutting off the stems. Cut off this couple big old roots. Now, depending as you're making this, if you have really big beets, you probably only need two or three. These are pretty small, so I'm using four. I'm gonna just peel them. And then dice them. Now I'm chopping this pretty fine. You could also even grate the beet if you wanted or chop some and grate some. Depends on what kind of texture you want. I prefer the little bits of chunks versus the grated, but we all like different things. So I'm just gonna add these all to the pan. Let that start to saute while I get rid of the gloves and this cutting board and bring out my real cutting board to prep the rest of the veggies. So I have a little tiny cabbage, a couple potatoes, and a couple carrots that I'm going to peel, chop, and get into the pot. The cabbage really is optional. I like a little bit of cabbage in mine, and that's why when I saw these little itty bitty baby cabbages, I thought that would be perfect this way I'm not going to be stuck with the remainder of a whole huge head of cabbage to figure out what to do with. And I might not even use this whole head. I'm just going to use a little bit. So I have the beets. I'll chop and peel the carrots, potatoes, and cabbage and get those in the pan.
I'm just going to stir this around. You can already see like that um, the beets are starting to give up their juices. So everything is becoming pink as I stir it around. When this is done, the soup will be a beautiful like deep pink slash red color. And now I'm simply going to add two boxes of vegetable broth to make eight cups plus two cups of water. And then I'm going to let this simmer and get all nice and soft and juicy. Going to add just a touch of salt and pepper. Stir that in, and then I'm just going to reduce the heat down a little bit and let this simmer away while I do the next step, which is preparing the onions and the celery. So next we're going to prep our onion and celery in the skillet. So I'm just going to turn on the heat and add a little oil. And then I'll start with the onion, just getting that chopped up into fairly small pieces. That's looking pretty good. Let's add one clove of garlic. Stir that in and allow that to cook for just a minute. Now the next ingredient is a little bit of a surprise. When I was looking through, trying to find a borscht recipe, uh, probably a couple of years ago, several had this ingredient, so I decided to go with it and it tastes good, so I have kept it. And that is four tablespoons of ketchup. I know, it sort of seems like sacrilege. <laughs> One, two, three, four. 
And I would say it doesn't really look all that appetizing, but somewhere multiple people apparently tried this recipe out and decided ketchup is what it needed. And like I said, the finished product is delicious, so I'm keeping it. So the ketchup has cooked in for a minute. My soup here is cooking away. As I stir it, I can tell the vegetables are still sort of crunchy. They're not completely soft yet. So this is going to just keep on cooking. Stir that in. The other thing I'm going to add right here while we have it open is a couple of bay leaves. One, two, and then we'll just allow this to simmer away until all the veggies are nice and tender. My soup has been cooking away for well, probably a couple hours now. I've just let it simmer on low. So now for the finishing touches, just to add a couple tablespoons of a white vinegar, um, about a can of cannellini beans. I actually have just a partial can because I used some in another recipe a couple days ago, but it'll be close enough. And then some chopped dill. Let me gently chop the dill up. This is actually fresh dill. Well, was fresh in the fall. I just picked it and popped it into a mason jar and stuck it in the freezer. So the texture is not quite right. Like I wouldn't put it on a raw salad, but it's perfect for cooking with. So just sprinkle in the dill. I might even pull out and add a little bit more because I like dill in this probably could use a little bit more. Add my cannellini beans. And just a couple tablespoons of vinegar. One, two, just to add a little acidity. I'll stir that around and let it cook for a few more minutes just to heat the beans through and then it will be ready to eat. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you will give borscht a try at home. Again, my name is Tracy Martirana and I use my knowledge of Ayurveda, nutrition, herbs, yoga, meditation, all of that to bring you information and inspiration to help you live a healthy, happy, and balanced life. If you haven't already, please click that subscribe button, watch my videos, like them, share them with your friends. Doing so lets YouTube know that people are interested in content like mine. Thanks and have a great day.